Hello and welcome. In this video I will be taking you through my process of creating a bioactive enclosure for a rough green snake. Uh, the tank you're seeing now is the previous home of my captive bred rough green snake who is called Negi. It is a Zoo Med 30 by 30 by 60 centimeter paludarium, although I'm using it as a terrarium here. It's been a great home for Negi, but after a year or so of growth, he's starting to look quite cramped in there, so it was time for an upgrade. For his new setup, I decided to go for a Zoo Med Reptibreeze. This is the medium sized enclosure with dimensions of 41 by 41 by 76 centimeters. Um, I've read that rough green snakes do very well in, in uh, screen enclosures, but most people keep them in glass enclosures with equal success. So don't feel that you have to use a screen enclosure for your rough green snake, as most of the methods I'm using for this build can be applied to glass tanks as well. So if you're lazy like me and you want a 3D planted background but you don't want to deal with the mess of making one from scratch, you can get these pre-made cocoa fibre planter backgrounds, although they are a little hard to find. Um, I got this one on Amazon under the name Habitat Decoration Planting Background by Reptiles Planet. If you plan on filling your reptibreeze with a drainage layer and substrate, you'll need to install some kind of solid barrier to contain it, otherwise you'll have soil and water constantly falling out through the mesh. Um, I simply got some clear vinyl sheeting, cut it to size with scissors and hot glued it in. You're also going to need some kind of solid tray at the bottom because the base that the reptibreeze comes with is just a thin sheet of plastic that won't be able to take all that weight or hold water. Uh, you can either make something yourself or just do what I did and buy the substrate tray that ZooMed makes specifically for these enclosures. And so here's the drainage medium all nicely contained inside the tray. I'm using clay pebbles, also known as laker. It was around this point that my plants arrived. I had a rough idea of how I wanted the setup to look, so my choices of plants were based on a combination of what I thought would look nice, what had worked for me in past setups, and of course what would make a suitable environment for Negi. Um, I basically bought as many plants as my budget would allow. In addition to the plants, I also ordered this drainage mesh by Exoterra. The purpose of this is to keep your soil layer separated from the drainage layer while allowing water to pass through freely. It comes as a single pre-measured sheet, so probably isn't the most cost-effective choice if you're planning on creating a lot of bioactive setups. But for a one-off project, it's a convenient solution and the material is very high quality. The next thing I did was cover the sides of the enclosure with these fake vines. Uh, the real plants will take some time to grow in, so these will provide more cover and security for Negi in the meantime. I attached them to the mesh using nylon thread.
Next I added in the soil. Basically any substrate that's marketed for bioactive enclosures will work just fine. I got this one at a local expo. That turned out to not be enough soil, so I just topped it up with a different brand. We're jumping forward a bit now, but I've arranged some branches and vines, planted the fern and philodendron in the background, and added a water bowl. Though rough green snakes are mainly arboreal, they do spend some time on the ground, so you'll want to include a hide of some kind. I've gone with a hollow cork log for this setup. So from here, how you choose to decorate the enclosure is largely down to personal preference. Though, of course, you do want to bear the needs of your rough green snake in mind by providing plenty of branches, vines and foliage for them to climb around in. Next I added the cleanup crew. These are the invertebrates that essentially make the setup bioactive. Um, they do this by breaking down waste and providing nutrients for the plants in the process. Um, my cleaner bugs of choice are earthworms, springtails and isopods. I then added the rest of the plants and also a layer of leaf litter. As these leaves break down they provide a food source for the cleanup crew as well as the plants. The last thing I did was add this Exoterra dripper plant. Uh, like most arboreal reptiles, rough green snakes prefer to drink water droplets off of leaves rather than drink from a bowl. Um, with this being a mesh enclosure, even a heavy misting of water is going to evaporate quite quickly. So this dripper will ensure that Negi always has a source of running water to drink from. Since filming this, I have seen Negi drink from both the dripper and the bowl on many occasions, so it was definitely a worthwhile addition in my case. Um, I never saw Negi drink from the bowl in his previous setup, so I think the fact that the water is moving is what entices him to drink. Reptibree's enclosures don't include any cable port, so in order to run power to things like water features and thermostats, you'll have to cut a small hole in the mesh and then fill it in with either hot glue or silicon. For lighting, I have a Reptisun UVB bulb and an Exoterra natural light bulb um, fitted in an Exoterra canopy fixture. Uh, heat is provided by a Zoomed daylight blue bulb in a Zoomed mini deep dome um, and that's controlled by a dimming thermostat. So at this point the setup is pretty much complete. The only change I made was to replace the fern in the background with another philodendron as the fern didn't seem to be very happy in that particular spot. Now the only thing left to do is add a rough green snake. Uh, Nicky climbed into the enclosure pretty much of his own accord and immediately started exploring. He wasn't even remotely stressed by the transfer which I was very happy about.
I will be making an update video on this enclosure so please consider subscribing if you're interested in that and also maybe give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. Um, if you have extra time leave a comment below this video if, if this helped you with your rough green snake setup or if there's any tips you'd like to share. So thanks for watching and bye for now.